Now let's get over to Yahoo Finance's Inez Ferre, uh, who's standing by at the Wi-Fi Interactive. And Inez, this is turning into another real ugly session. Yeah, that's right. A continuation of what we saw yesterday with the NASDAQ down more than 2%. Yesterday, the NASDAQ down almost 5%. So over the last two days, down 7%. But this is a world map. So you can see also we're looking at other markets as well that are uh, trending down. You've got the London FTSE that's down 1.7%. In Paris, stocks are down. The Frankfurt DAC is down 2%. Hong Kong Hang Seng down more than three and a half percent. Coming back to the markets here in the U.S., we are watching the Dow down almost one and a half percent. The Nasdaq, as I mentioned, down more than two percent, and the S&P 500 down more than one and a half percent. We have been tracking the 10-year Treasury up a uh, two basis points at 3.08 percent. We're also looking at the 30-year Treasury, which yesterday was higher, and it's right now up two basis basis points at 3.18%. Looking at our trending tickers, we are seeing some of these stocks, some volatile moves with these stocks. First of all, well, you've got Bitcoin, crypto, that, that's down 8% right now. You've got Block that's down 6%, and DoorDash down 8%, and Zillow down 9%. Also want to mention that the home builders are down. They were down yesterday. They're down today as mortgage rates go up, the housing market perhaps softening. So you are seeing some pressure on those home builders as well, guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Inez. Appreciate it.